Every morning, there's always a vlog to edit. And my love mics are still dispatched. They should be here very soon. Thankfully, it's very closed out for delivery, which means it could come in the morning rather than the afternoon. Fingers crossed. I literally just uploaded this video about the iPhone charger. I go to use my phone and I'm not joking. I go to remove this old card, and literally remove payment method, comes up with nothing. It doesn't even do it. I can't even delete it via the other method, which is via the payments and shipping settings, and then just doing edit. Look, 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 look. Tapping about 50 billion times. Remove, 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 remove. It does not work. Apple, this is why I'm so pissed off with you. Your software is getting clunky and horrid. This is why I don't want to be with you anymore. Because of things like this. Please, please fix. The only way to get rid of that was to literally go onto iCloud or iTunes on my PC and do it through there because the iPad didn't even work, the iPhone didn't even work, and I am really frustrated with you, Apple. Please fix your problems now. And while I was trying to remove all of those things, Apple, you don't have to do it every five seconds, please. These notifications were causing my phone to crash because of all this. That was really helpful. Not, there's a reason why I hate Apple. And this is the reason why. All of that swearing at Apple while I was doing that has made me really thirsty. Cup of tea is definitely required. There are so many things in this world that can really frustrate you. And things such as devices that should work like removing payment methods and not trying to, you know, go ahead 50 billion times, especially if it's been declined. Especially every five seconds when you can't do anything because every five seconds you get a notification that keeps coming up saying your payment has been declined. Not just from the settings app, you also get it from the blooming app itself, from your banking app. The amount of notifications I got was just, ah! Too much, way too much. <sighs> I need this drink. Oh. And that there is one dog walk complete. Oh, and did I tell you the other day I managed to fix this? I put some, you know, duct tape up there. I was pushing up the water, it's the day that I got soaked. Pushed up at the sharp end of this by mistake, so I put a repair in, so yeah. One of my jobs today will be definitely to clean up all the dog poo and then possibly mow the lawn because I think this lawn needs mowing because it gets a little bit annoying trying to dig out the dog poo. It's the Lord all mown and much better. There is a hole, of course, that my dog decided to dig the other day. I'm incredibly hot. Time to go cool down. The next thing I need to do is pop to B&Q and hand this back because, well, first of all, they overcharged me. It's meant to be 10 pounds and they charged me 19 pounds. And second of all, because the software that it requires, it needs some extra hardware, such as another alarm system, 
which I don't actually have. And that there is everything all done. Receipt now got, everything is done. Time to head on home. Currently editing the next section of the 6K Day May documentary. As you can probably tell, this is quite a major edit and requires a lot of hard work and a lot of time of me just sitting at my PC, listening to my old clips and my old vlogs and trying to make a interesting video out of it by grabbing all the very quick little segments of vlog and making that look interesting and let you know exactly what my brain was thinking at the time. And I'm only at the end of week two, which happened to be that target there. That's how many steps I did at the end of week two. I've just had to pop to a parcel drop-off zone just because the three Amazon parcels that I had, all of them didn't work. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to be cooking. Yes, that seems a bit strange, but we're gonna be doing a lot more of that come next week because we're going to be getting a new parcel coming through. That's gonna contain all the ingredients we need for meals throughout the week. But before that happens, I'm just using some stuff that we've got in the cupboards, which includes pasta, mayonnaise, cheese, and bacon. They're all gonna come into things. So I've just started boiling the pasta. I've also placed a bit of butter and a bit of mayonnaise and some cheese into this saucepan, which is gonna melt absolutely lovely, which is then what I'm gonna mix everything all into once the pasta's all done. So this becomes the cheese and bacon, cheesy mayo bacon pasta sauce, which is of course why I've got the bacon out so that I can cook the bacon in the frying pan. Sound good? Let's, do, let's cook it. What I'm gonna do is let that sauce simmer in a little bit of heat, just a little bit, just so we get a little bit of melted stuff while I'm cooking this and cooking the bacon. Speaking of which, time to cook the bacon. Once the cheese and the bacon is cooked and the cheese is slightly melted, I'm now just gonna stir it in just to make it all come into one big lovely little thing. The cheese, bacon and uh, mayo sauce has now been done. Yeah, it will be a bit gloop. It's a bit gloopy because of the way that the cheese is not thin cheese. If you were to use like, um, instead of using grated cheese, it won't come out as a glump. It will come out as a nice, rich, smooth sauce. But that will still do. Anyway, the pasta is nearly done, very close. It's up to a point where it's just like, eh, it needs to wait for about two minutes. So I'm just waiting for that to go through. And then it's a case of dishing up. And that there is the dinner all done. Mm. I've just had my first bite of the cheese and mayo and bacon. Oh. That's to die for. That was superb. After everything that's happened, I finally managed to get things working. And it turns out that my previous lightning connector just didn't work. The ones I ordered, they failed, they've been sent back. But this one, this one does. Gorilla tape. I'm gonna make sure this never fails. And also that I can't use any other headphones with this one because I just want this one to work. I don't think that is going to come undone, but I have left it so that I can exchange it should I need to. Maybe I should do it to the other end of this because I hate frame cables and this cable is so long, I think this requires it. Finally, that can go back on. 
because finally <laughs> that adapter I think is going to do wonders for the vlogs and literally I'm not joking this one because it's so flimsy the connection in this wire even though there is no damage to this wire whatsoever Apple listen no damage to this wire whatsoever no physical looks like damage inside the wire is broken which has caused me days worth of stress and annoyance so now i managed to fix it but making it a little bit more you know less flippity floppity and more strong because i also like using my headphones to listen to music and listen to things while i'm out walking the dogs i have used a microphone muff just sitting on the microphone socket of the headphone section where the little hole is but on this side i have a button to press should i wish to press it to change the channel i have just been editing the last part of the documentary i'm up to the end of week three and there's a bit of a shocker to come for week three for those people who are wondering i'm not going to reveal it now i'm going to leave it for the documentary if it's released go check it out it'll be up there if it hasn't been released are you a patron it'll be released to patrons at patreon.com forward slash money mission 24 7. until next time thank you very much for watching don't forget to click that like button. Please click the like button. It really means a lot because it means that YouTube detects that you like these videos and will share it out to other people like you who might like this video as well. Also click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn it from gray. Make sure you turn it from red to gray. That means that you are subscribed and ring that bell icon so you get to know whenever I upload because I don't currently have an upload time. Should I have an upload time? Is there a specific time? Let me know down in the comments down below because that's another thing you need to do. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Till next time, bye-bye. Peace!